Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching this Sunday night pre-debate edition of The Factor. A lot going on. Is the presidential race crushing the spirit of you, the American public? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. No matter who wins the White House, tens of millions of voters will be angry. The Trump audio tape scandal is yet another tawdry display in a campaign full of them. So, there will be no coming together after the vote. Bitterness will rule. Both Trump and Clinton have polarized the country, and the division is vast. Seems every day there's more depressing political news. It's almost high noon daily. For example, unless Donald Trump can marginalize the vulgar tape exposure in tonight's debate, he will likely lose the election. Mr. Trump must somehow redeem himself in 90 minutes, a tough challenge to say the least, because he's essentially alone. If any public person defends Trump, they will be branded as female haters by the media. That's why you're seeing so many Republicans bailing on Mr. Trump. As for the candidate himself, pointing out past dubious behavior on the part of the Clintons will not be enough. He must persuade the voters that he is worthy of the top job, not that his opponent is not worthy. The presidential campaign has been horrendous. Both political parties have enormous problems, and those are reflected by the candidates. Think back to JFK, Ronald Reagan, Harry Truman, Bush the Elder. These were men who engendered respect. It is true that the ideological press and the instantaneous presence of social media make it almost impossible for candidates these days to retain positive images or to survive big mistakes. The constant pounding Clinton and Trump receive has diminished both of them in front of the folks. Every misstep, every carrot of flaw becomes a Times Square billboard. In my lifetime, I've never seen political hatred like this. Result, few Americans feel good about the presidential election. Talking Points now believes many Americans will sit the vote out, their spirits crushed by the nastiness of it all. As for tonight, it is Trump's last chance to stop the bleeding. If he does not, Secretary Clinton will win. And that's a memo.